Hi guys, Matt V's Movies back for another video and today is the start of a new series of videos where we're going to be looking at my complete Blu-ray collection. Now I did um, a series of videos looking at my complete DVD collection um, so yeah if you want to go back and have a look at some of those videos as a playlist um, so yeah please go and check those out but yeah I'm going to start looking at um, my uh, Blu-rays and these will include still books and uh, ordinary Amorays. Um, now my plan is to do probably a video at some point or maybe a series of videos looking at my complete still book collection and then we'll be moving on to the 4Ks as well. Um, so yeah look out for these videos sort of coming down the line in the future. Right so um, let's get on with looking at um, some Blu-rays in my collection today on the channel. So welcome back. So yeah, we need to get into looking at the um, Blu-rays that I have in my collection today. So let's just get into it. Okay, so the first one is 300 Rise of an Empire, a 3D steelbook. Really nice edition, this one. Um, yeah. Next one is a 3D Blu-ray and Blu-ray of Rampage. Big meets bigger. Yet to see this film. Um, I do need to get around to watching it. But again, uh, the still book on this one is a bit damaged, uh, but it's very cheap. But um, yeah, that's that one. Next up, now this was a, a gift from a friend of mine. Uh, Lock, stock and two smoking barrels. Next up, now this was from Dan's Man Cave. He kindly sent me this film, Haywire. Um, very good film. A nice slip case. Next up is Geostorm. Uh, this is a German steelbook. And uh, yeah, good entertaining film. You know, natural disaster film. Next up, Punisher Warzone. Now I've popped um, a, like a sort of cover on there. Just a um, sort of custom cover, shall we say. Um, but uh, there's the back. But yeah, it's just a standard ammo array for Punisher Warzone. Next up, The Town. Now, it's in a 4K case. It's not the 4K. I just popped it in there because I thought the black case actually sort of, um, sort of complemented it quite well. But um, it is just the Blu-ray um, in there. And the DVD. Here's the back. Next up, Looper, exclusive steelbook um, from the UK with a lenticule on there from the French edition, I believe. So there's a Looper. Now you will see uh, another edition of that um, further along in the collection. Next up, Legend. Uh, this is about the Cray Twins, played by um, oh, Tom Hardy. Fantastic film. This Really, really enjoyed this one. Um, yeah, really, really good. Next up, Castaway. Again, another one which I've just popped in a black case, uh, 4K case. I know it's not 4K, but um, yeah, I just... Um, Probably need to get hold of some just standard black Blu-ray cases, but yeah, I thought it sort of complemented the artwork quite well. Now, <clears throat> you think, oh, Interstellar. This is not actually Interstellar. That's just a slip case. Um, it is actually the Great Wall. Um, I just had this spare slip case, and um, I do have Interstellar, but um, you'll see that in a, a future video. Um, but yeah, I just popped that over the top of this just just to sort of keep it somewhere really. So yeah, there's your back. 
and your discs. Next, the guest. Uh, this was sent to me by AJ, I think, if I remember rightly. Um, yeah, I didn't mind it. Um, sort of uh, entertaining sort of action film. Yep, it is AJ because he's got his note in there. <laughs> Next up, Jet Li in Flying Swords of the Dragon Gate. Another 3D title. And the core, a nice black case. Um, I know you can get this on 4K now, but I've heard the 4K isn't that much of an upgrade, so I'm quite happy just to keep hold of this one. So, yep, yeah, the core. Okay, next up is the Amazing Spider-Man 2. Um, yeah, very nice addition, this one. I'm not going to get it out, but it's... it's <clears throat> That's just the um, slip case for the standard Amore, but actually inside there is a Target exclusive, I believe, but I'm not going to get that out now. Um, there are videos on Spider-Man, so if you're interested in that, go and check out my playlist. Okay, so the next one is Spider-Man, The Amazing Spider-Man 2 again. Uh, this is a, a Zabby exclusive lenticular steelbook. Still book of the Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, I'll put a lenticular on the front of that a magnet, and there's also one on the back. But again, if you want to check out my Spider-Man, um, you know, sort of editions, have a look on my Spider-Man playlist. Spider-Man Three Still Book Lenticular. Very nice. Spider-Man 2 Lenticular Steelbook. And finally, Spider-Man Lenticular Steelbook. Okay, so we're down to the last three for this episode. So we've got The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey. And uh, I've got a lenticular magnet on the front of there, custom made. But it's the standard steel book that you got for this particular um, film. And then we've got The Hobbit, uh, The Desolation of Smaug. Again, with the lenticular from the standard Amaray. I've just made that into a magnet. But it's the actual steel book of the 3D version. And then lastly, The Battle of the Five Armies. Again, this is a lenticular that I found online. Very nice. Um, but again, it's the UK still book for the, um, for the film. Right, guys. Well, that's the end of this episode. Um, look out next time for, for the second part of this. Uh, and we'll con continue to keep going through the Blu-rays um, in my collection. Thoughts and comments down below.